Hello, darlings. I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. For those of you who are new, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, who are the fabric sculpture dolls sitting behind me that I created myself. I sold these dolls, the giraffe, and everything you see behind me. As I was making the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, they kept telling me ancient secrets and stories about life, which led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. So far, we have book one, two, and three. And these books led to the Oracle deck that I'm using. The Oracle deck is just as magical as the doll's child. And in today's video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to deliver a message to you from, from your inner doll. I guess you know whose idea this was, right? Well, anyway, your inner doll is a part of you that is ageless, timeless, superficial, and you only move when somebody else move you. It's a part of us that is artificial and we want to fit into society and we do as we're told. We move when we're told to move. We look the way we're supposed to look. It is a part of us that doesn't want to age. We don't want the new model to come in and replace the child because we kind of get like, I'm just going to do everything I'm supposed to do so that you will love and accept me. It is our ideal of beauty. Anyway, in this video, your inner doll wants a voice. She's tired of being told what to do, child. She's tired of being placed on the shelf. She's try, tired of trying to look and be like everybody else. But let's hear what message your inner doll have for you from the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darlings. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, Please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the hot pink butterfly for the message from your inner doll, this video is for you. So first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition and I'm going to give you a reading from this beautiful rose quartz star alien being for an additional message from your 
inner doll. The first card I have for you is, pull this out, child. Jaya Beauty Goddess Chalby with her message from the inner doll. And her message to you is, some friends are really enemies and some enemies are really friends. Sounds like somebody hanging around with people who, you know, sometimes we hang around people who don't make us feel good about ourselves. When we're around them, we're always on a diet or we feel like we have to go back to school and we just never feel like we're enough. But then there are people that we hang around. Sometimes we really don't like them because they tell us things like, girl, you, you are beautiful. And you're like, oh, what I got to lose 10 pounds. Oh, you know, you know people around you who are like super positive and you can't stand them because you think they're lying to you. Well, we're talking about Chavi, who represents our third chakra, our power center. It's um, right, it's two inches above your navel, and it's responsible for your self-esteem, your ability to, it's everything, your, your core beliefs about your, your identity, your, your ego, and who you are, and your ability to accomplish your goals. So if you're not really feeling like you are everything that you want to be right now, I think this card is telling you your inner doll is saying let's take a look at some of these people in our life and some of the things you're feeding us but we should also take a look at some of the negative self talk we have because no matter what someone says to us, says to us if you don't think you're beautiful it's not going to matter there are people who tell you wonderful things all day and you think they're just lying to you because you don't have a part in your aura in your beingness that resonates with the positivity of certain people and then you have people around your life who in your life who are always telling you that you're not good enough and because you feel that way about yourself you think they're telling the truth but none of you're not telling yourself the truth and neither are they so the jungle beauty guys your inner your inner doll from jungle beauty goddess chavi is saying look child we need you to like you know we want to be around people who say really positive things to us and at the same time we want to hold that vibration as well of feeling really good about ourselves and feeling that we are enough I am enough just the way I am I have another card for you from your inner doll let's see who it's from and we have a card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai and Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai's message to you from your inner doll is your actions today will determine your forever. Man, first of all, Jungle Beauty Goddess Sign that represents our second chakra, which is actually two inches below our navel, child, and it is responsible for our ability to feel good about ourselves, to take pleasure in life, to uh, also to be creative, right? So she says your actions today will determine your forever. So listen, if you're watching this video, your inner doll is saying she is like the mask the plastic the trying to fit in the she wants you to do something different today she wants you to either you know wear a different lipstick or just take a different way home she wants you to find pleasure in life and she doesn't want you to just wait for somebody else to come into your life to give your life meaning because that's part of the inner doll struggle is that the doll sits on the shelf until somebody picks her up and play with her right and your doll is like you know what we we don't need people to come and play with us for us to feel alive like go on a trip by yourself go to the movies by yourself take yourself out to eat she's saying that she is sick of sitting on the shelf shelf meaning you know just sitting waiting for somebody else to come in and make give her life meaning help someone to say hey girl you want to go to the movies you want to go to a concert she said no we can do this ourselves so she's your, she wants you to do today your inner doll wants you today to start enjoying your life and doing something fun the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kala Hari and she has a message from your inner doll and her message to you is how do you feel about it? Your feelings matter. So she represents our heart chakra. And you're, oh my God. Let me tell you something. So a doll, right, in general, is a personification of, of a person, but she's, she sits still. She's motionless. She's voiceless. She's timeless. She's ageless, right? This, 
your inner doll says she has feelings and she is tired of trying to accommodate everybody else she's tired of looking out for everybody else's feelings and nobody's looking out for her feelings your inner doll girl she is spicy your inner doll is like look girl she says i have feelings you know i have feelings and i am not just some plastic or fabric doll that just sits and wait to come to life when somebody touched me i am my feelings matter so listen the next time something happens okay and you're always the person who is like oh no we can you know whatever you want is okay with me or if somebody tried to tell you dictate your schedule or try to make you work a shift or ask you to do something that you really don't want to do i really want you to take a moment and listen to your inner doll and say how do i feel about this do i really want to go do i really want to go out to lunch do i really want to go to the movie movies do i it's about you really tapping into your own emotions and asking yourself do wait hello 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 your doll is saying hello i'm alive here darling uh i want to think about what as to whether or not this agenda resonates with my spirit and i would decide if i would participate in these events i have another card for you from your inner doll and it says, let's see, you have Kalahari again, so you're really pulling in some strong heart chakra, which has to do with self-love and self-acceptance. And also forgiving, it says love without expectations. So your inner dog is saying, look, you know, a doll is all about expectations. People, when people hear the word doll, they think of like a Barbie doll and it's supposed to look a certain way and all of the pieces are supposed to be together and they, I mean to look the same right and they come down an assembly line it's a part of us that wants to fit into society to fit into our spot to do as we're told and we feel that the only way people are going to love us is when we look the way we're supposed to look if we are a certain size if we you know you know what I mean like if we, we have to fit this image this we have to act a certain way in order to deserve love. And she's saying that she wants to be loved unconditionally. She, she doesn't want to feel like, oh, you don't love me because my hair isn't perfect. Oh, you don't love me because um, I didn't, you know, clean and wash the dishes. You don't love me because I'm, I'm not a robot. Or maybe I have my own opinion about certain things. She wants to be loved for herself. I have one more card for you from your inner doll and it's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and her message to you is, let me see, let me get her in focus, sometimes love means letting go. So what this card means, the message from your inner doll is that sometimes, you know, have you ever had people in your life? and you just feel like well they've been my friend since third grade they've been my friend since first grade and you feel like you're supposed to honor the friendship even though the friendship has not been healthy or honor the relationship even though the person has not really been there for you i want you to look at your life and i want you to think about all the people in your life who maybe it has been a very one-sided relationship. You've done all the giving, all the loving, all the caring. And you feel like, well, I love them. And we have all of this time invested in this relationship. And therefore, it would be wrong for me to terminate this relationship. Even though when I'm around this person, I don't really feel good about myself. Your inner doll says that when she is around certain people, she is forgetting about her feelings because you now that's a card that came up for you it says your feelings matter um how do you feel about it your feelings matter this this is the impression i'm getting you're the kind of person you have a really big heart that's why you pulled in so many general you guys kalahari cards and you're always the person trying to accommodate everybody else your inner doll she has her makeup her hair is always per perfectly combed she you know she you know does everything that everybody else want her to do just like a real doll and she is saying that she is dying on the inside yes 
and that you are surrounded by people who don't love you or respect you as much as you love and respect them. And she wants to be in reciprocal relationships with people who honor her, people who they pick up the tab sometimes, people who, you know, who are positive. She wants a change in the people in your life. Your inner doll is really tired of the mask. She's tired of putting on this this persona. She's tired of being a doll. She's tired of sitting on the shelf. So I have one more message for you. Well, when I say sitting on the shelf, sitting on the shelf waiting for other people to make her happy and doing as she t as she is told and instructed by other people. That's what Eva is sitting on the shelf. She wants to make her be in control of her own movements. She kind of like the journey together. She's like, I'm, you know, I'm tired of being around people who don't love me as much as I love them. So I'm going to see if there's an additional message for you from this beautiful rose quartz star alien being. Is there an additional message for this person that will help you on their journey from their inner doll? Thank you so much for coming. So let's see what the message is. The first thing I like for you to do is buy new clothes and new shoes that represent the new you. When you change your persona, when you change your beliefs, our outer exterior is always a reflection of our inner transformation. As you select your new wardrobe, I want you to start thinking about how you want to be loved, how much money you want to make, what type of job you want to have. I want you to imagine the life of your biggest dreams, where you want to live, everything that you want as you're picking out these new clothes. Get rid of all of your old clothes. This should take maybe a year and a half. Whoever this message is for, this is going to be very therapeutic for you. So it's going to take approximately a year and a half to replace your clothes. Start replacing your underclothing first because they're closest to your body. But when you replace them, remember, you're setting affirmations for yourself. You are affirming a new you, a you that has a voice, a you that demands respect, a you that have friends who adore and love you and say positive things about you and you also say positive things about yourself. At the end of a year and a half, you should have a totally new wardrobe and a new you. You will be so surprised at the new people and all of the wonderful things that will come into your life. Wow, that's really amazing. Why did you hear that? Oh my Listen guys, I do not pick this up. I just let it come and I wish I had thought of that because I could have written that article. Thank you. Anyway, I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling. If you selected the blue butterfly, this inner doll message is for you. First, I'm going to go over your cards and then I am going to give you my collective intuition and a reading from this beautiful Jade Star Alien being at the end. So let's see what cards I have for you, darling. The first card I have for you from your inner doll is uh oh it's from jungle beauty goddess katara and it says safety first okay so we're talking about your doll where's what's going on with your so you, your doll is the artificial part of you it is the part of you that is controlled by other people the persona that we put on um Man, safety first, your root chakra. Uh-oh, your doll really wants to be taken care of, y'all. Your doll is in need of repair. 
So safety first means that you really need to think about your diet, the people you're hanging around, your environment, your mental health, your inner doll needs repair in some way. Well, let me do the rest of the cards and we'll just pull it all together. So the next card I have for you from your inner doll is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire. And Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire's message is use your skills and resources and resources to invent what is missing. Wow. So you have a safety first card and your root chakra, the first card that you pulled from your um, inner doll from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, safety first. She represents Earth and she represents our Earth suit. So we're talking about your actual doll itself. Use your skills and resources to invent what is missing. I'm going to tell you what popped in my head. And you can just twist this around in a way that maybe it will resonate with you. After I had my daughter, I, um, I lost, you know, my hair fell out because of the hormones. And I had a really hard time growing my hair and my nails after that. And prior to that, I had only worn my own hair, which I was very proud of. And I remember when I bought my first ponytail because I used to wear my hair in a ponytail and it was you know it changed my life but at the same time I was really embarrassed because I had always worn my own hair and so I had to use my skills and my resources to invent what was missing so oh my god listen if you are watching this video and you selected this blue butterfly your inner doll the you know your the um, the physical aspect of your beingness that you present to the public she is in need of repair and I think that if you are contemplating any type of cosmetic surgery getting your teeth fixed your hair anything that is wrong your your inner doll is telling you to fix it your inner doll wants to be fixed she wants you to you know think about safety first but safety in the means of making sure that your equipment is working properly so the next card I have for you from your inner doll is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby and Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you from the inner doll is oh my goodness some people are simply not meant to be in your life Man, the inner doll is really just telling people that you don't need to hang around people who are not positive. See, the inner doll represents the artificial, superficial part of our personality, the public persona, the, part, the face that we, that we paint on for the world, right? Not our true feelings, but so we... we put ourselves in positions to be around people who validate the artificial part of us while we're dying on the inside. So if you have friends that, that you are around and you like, <laughs> you're laughing because you want to get along with them, you're doing things with them, but you really don't feel like it, but you don't really know how to break the cycle of being in the re these relationships with people who really are not in alignment with what you really want for yourself. Your your inner doll, and then you have the card that says safety first. Child, your inner doll is telling you to look at the people in your life and start um, thinking about as to whether or not you want to play with them anymore. Seriously. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess, Namib, from your inner doll. And her message to you is, give your mind time to accept the wisdom of your soul. Forgive yourself. This is a heavy hand. My intuition is telling me that, you know, maybe you've made some mistakes in the past. 
and you have relationships in your life because you felt guilty. So let's just say maybe sometimes, you know, maybe you, I don't, I'm just going to say what popped in my head. Maybe you cheated on somebody, but you were young. And, or maybe you, you know, you did something that you're not proud of, but, and you're carrying that guilt and it's actually affecting your inner doll. So the, so the way um, your doll looks, like the, the smile you put on your face, the clothes you wear, your public persona, this image you're projecting, the image you're projecting, right? It's one that is not, you know, it, I don't want to say like the Mona Lisa, but it's almost like you have this smile that's not real because there are some things that's going on inside of you that you haven't forgiven yourself for. And I don't know how big or how small those things are, but your card from your inner doll, represented by Jungle Beauty Goddess Samib, she says to give your mind time to accept the wisdom of your soul, forgive yourself. So who's ever watching this video, I am telling you, your inner doll needs to be forgiven. She wants you to forgive yourself for whatever you've done to anybody so that you can heal, so that you can, you know, get rid of people in your life who are really not good for you and also you, know, you have a card that says safety first so that just leads me to the to believe that the people who are in your life really just it's, it doesn't seem to have it doesn't seem to be high vibration relationships it seems to be relationships that really are destroying your your psycho psychological wellness like your your emotions because you have to put on this fake face to even be around them I have one more card for you from your inner doll and it is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar and Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar's message to you is no one can be a better you than you oh my god this is a beautiful hand man so when we say no one can be a better you than you, and when we're talking about our inner doll, we're talking about the part of us that that came off the assembly line. Think of a Barbie doll. Think of plastic. Think of the, the dolls that you know we go to the store and everybody have to <laughs> get your perfect smile and everything is great and every you know just pretending to be happy, right? So your inner doll is saying. She does not. She no longer wants to look like or act like other people. She doesn't want to be around people who judge her or make her feel that she needs to look different. So if you're around people who are constantly talking about dieting or, oh, we have to do this or, look, all I'm saying is, this this hand is saying, look, first you have something that says use your skills and resources to invent what is missing. So. The cards are saying, look, whatever you don't like about yourself, you can fix it, but the, but no one can be a better you than you, right? So you don't need to, your inner doll says, look, fix me up, child. I want to be, I want to be my own person. I don't want to dress like everybody else. I don't want to act like everybody else. I don't want to be around people where I have to be fake and I don't and pretend to be happy people who are always putting me down people who are not happy for me long story short your hand is saying yeah your inner doll uh -uh, your inner doll is in danger when I say in danger I don't mean like anything bad is gonna happen I just mean your inner doll that artificial superficial plastic fake part of you she really doesn't want to exist anymore. She really wants to reinvent herself. She really wants to be in an environment with a vibrational frequency of people who are loving and supportive and positive. And she, and yeah, and she wants you to forgive yourself. Like, and, she, and what I'm picking up is that the reason you are around these people who are really not good for you it's because of some guilt that you're holding like you feel like you deserve these friends but your inner doll says child we deserve better than this so next i'm going to ask the jade star alien being always oh, I love to come. sorry about that is there an additional message for this person thank you so much for coming 
So we want to listen for an additional message for you. There are people in your life who adore you and love you deeply. But they adore the parts of you that is perfect. They don't appreciate or love the parts of you that make mistakes. Oh my God. So you feel a need to put on a persona so that the people in your life can continue to love you. But true love is unconditional. It is very difficult to hold up an image, a perfection, This only enhances artificial love. Artificial love is not real love. Real love accepts your mistakes, your flaws, and your imperfections. It is so important for you to align yourself with all of you, with your shadow self, the good parts of you, the bad parts of you. You don't need to be perfect to be loved. Find people who will love you, all of you. What we need for you to do is to look in the mirror every day and say, I am enough. I am worthy. You don't need to fix things about yourself to please other people. Love yourself exactly the way you are before making any changes. So that whatever changes you make are coming from a very sincere and playful place. What this means is, if you want to change something about yourself because you can't accept or love yourself the way you are, you will find that no matter what changes you make, you will never be happy. But if you focus on truly loving and accepting yourself the way you are, with your flaws and imperfections, you will find pleasure and joy in any changes that you make. You will find a new circle of friends to be in your life. But the energy must first start with you loving yourself just as you are before making any changes. Wow, thank you. I really appreciate this message. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected this beautiful lavender purple butterfly, this inner doll message is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I am going to give you my collective intuition and a message from this beautiful yellow jade alien star being. So first let's go over your cards. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Girl Beauty Goddess. Katara, who represents our root chakra. So we're talking about your earth suit, your inner dog. She said, discover what you do better than most. This is your path to prosperity. This is the first card, but it seems like her inner dog, she's ready to get off the shelf. She's ready to take off the uniform. She's ready to take off the mask. She doesn't want to be plastic anymore. 
That's what it sounds like. Your inner doll, the part of you that tries to fit into society and do as you're told. She is saying this fitting into the cog and acting like everyone else and trying to fit the persona of everyone else. And she's saying this is not working. So, yeah. So whatever, discover what you do better than most. This is your path to prosperity. Your Barbie doll doesn't want to be a Barbie anymore, child. She's like, look, I want to do something different. And she, you need to think about what do you do better than most people? Are you really, are you good at writing papers? Are you good at dancing? Are you good at organizing? Are you good at cooking? You know, are you good at painting, drawing? Um, you know, you really need to focus on not what you're doing that fits into what everybody else thinks you should be doing. Because sometimes people tell us things like, oh, you need to get a job here because such and such is hiring. Or, you know, you need to do this because this is paying. Your inner doll is saying, I want you to get out of the the mindset of doing what society wants you to do. You know, like you're still, you know how you play with a doll and you make the doll do like, oh, you can let's play doctor, let's play mommy. Your doll said, look, this is, no, we're not doing this anymore. Figure out, let's figure out what's good about us because I'm ready to, you know, do my own thing thing. So, the next card I have for you. It's from Dematter, who is the Jungle Beauty Goddess's father. And he has a message for you. And his message is, why are you giving your power away? You know, I'm going to tell you about this. These two cards that we have so far from you. What is coming into my spirit is that you are a person who is very talented, but you're always lending your skill set to somebody else like you're that person like oh um you know you could be earning more money you know you could be doing better but for some reason you you just you're giving your power away you're giving your gifts away you're giving your talent away you're giving your time away um yeah your inner doll is saying look i am tired of being controlled by everyone else she wants you to break out of the robot and do like you know she's like no I want to come to life child the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess the me from you and she has a message from your inner doll and the message is you are one with all that is man she's telling you that you are not just an artificial superficial you know earth suit or being on this planet just to be utilized by every you know just to do what everybody else wants you to do you are connected to your god self you're you know you have a soul like to all there is you all there is is not what you're doing right now okay she's saying there is more to your existence there's more to what you should be doing the next card i have for you from your inner dog your soul talking to you girl it's from Jungle Beauty Goddess the Me. And, oh, God. It could be God. Sorry. Um, it's from Jungle Beauty Goddess the Me. And she says, You are a multi dimensional infinite being. Act as if you will live forever. So, this is what I'm picking up so far from your hand. Your inner doll feels that she is tired of being manipulated and controlled by other people. She wants to connect with her higher self, with her soul self. She wants to come to life. She wants to be her own person. And she feels that your your gifts and your talents are not being properly utilized. And she wants you to figure out what it is, like what you're good at. And you're, I'm getting the impression from this collective reading that you have a lot of gifts and you're good at a lot of things and you're always helping somebody else out you're always doing something for someone else to you know but you're not really focusing in on your own book your own youtube channel your own classes i, I feel like your doll is saying look let's connect to our higher self let's connect to our soul self we are multi-dimensional beings we are not put here to be manipulated and controlled by other people that that is what your inner doll is saying she's like I'm either super strong like I'm ready for a change I have one more card for you from your inner doll 
and her message to you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire. And her message to you is, oh my God, bring your dreams to life. Your inner doll is, she wants out of the package, out of the uniform. She doesn't want to look and act like everybody else. She's tired of being plastic. She's tired of being controlled by society. She's tired of giving herself away. She wants you to tap into your soul self and bring your dreams to life. So the main focus from your inner doll is, I don't wanna be this fashion doll off the assembly line anymore, doing what everybody else wants me to do. I want to be my own type of doll. Does that make sense? So now I'm going to listen to this beautiful Jade star alien being. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm um, going to see if there's an additional message for you. Thank you so much for coming. Is there an additional message for this person from their inner doll? Uh, sorry about the lipstick. I oh, hate putting lipstick on you guys. My bad. Well, let's get started. Being a doll is not a bad thing. But what you want to do is find a new doll. But before you can find her, something that you should paint her we would like for you to paint the perfect image of how you see yourself. Give yourself clothes, hair, accessories. Paint yourself in a certain geographical location in the world. Paint a house for yourself. You may have an inclination to look these things up on the internet, but we suggest that you paint these things. Because the image that you are creating is the image that you will project yourself into in the next three to five years. The purpose of your inner doll is to give your life form and meaning. But as we grow, learn, and evolve, that meaning can change. Do not worry about where you are at this juncture in your life. You have learned many skills. But it is time for you to collect your skills and put them forth into a new endeavor. You will be very pleased with the outcome. So we're going to give you an overview. Paint a picture of a new doll. This new doll is you. Make her beautiful. Give her accessories. Place her in a perfect geographical location. Paint her a home, a car. Give her tools. Just have fun. Don't put too much thought into it because you will overthink it and you will block the energy from infinite wisdom. Enjoy yourself. Paint the picture with so much joy and fun and spontaneity. You don't need to do it in one day. It may be a series of pictures. In painting these pictures, you will discover what you do better than most. In three to five years, you will bring this into, bring this into fruition. You will have your new doll, your new image, your new persona, and your new dream. All right, guys. Thank you. This is the message from the star alien being. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.
Hello darling, if you selected the yellow butterfly, this is the message from your inner doll. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition and ask this beautiful Indian agate star alien being if there's an addition, additional message for you. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara from your inner doll. And her message to you is, let's see, what is your message, Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara? Her message is, whoa, in between the words, therein lies the truth. So we're pulling in root, which we're talking about your throat chakra. And the throat chakra has to do with our ability to, yeah, oh my goodness, so you're not telling us, you're not being honest about either what you're perceiving or how you're presenting yourself. It says, in between the words, therein lies the truth. The image that you're projecting to the world is not who you really are, how you really feel, and what you really want out of life. And what you're telling people is not what you really want so right now Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message from your inner doll is for you to kind of ignore the plastic shell the fakeness it's almost like you've been so busy trying to please other people that you have kind of forgotten about what it is that you really want and she wants you to really ignore this, your your Barbie doll, you know, your external self so that you can connect with your internal truth. So the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And her message to you from your inner doll is compassion and forgiveness are the cornerstones to true love. Man, there's a lot of forgiveness going on tonight. So basically, a lot of times, what I'm picking up from your hand is that you're giving off a persona to protect your ego, to protect yourself. Somebody has hurt you or you have hurt someone, but it has caused you to put a, a wall up around your heart. And when we put a wall up around our heart, it blocks our truth. So your inner doll is like, oh my goodness. She wants you to forgive yourself or forgive someone else so that you guys so you can move forward with your life that is she says um compassion and forgiveness are the cornerstones of true love so i'm getting the impression that you've been hurt or like i say you've hurt someone but you have stuck energy around your heart chakra and you're not going to be able to when we talk about true love we're talking about loving yourself or loving someone else but we can't move forward in life when we're holding on to grudges or we don't trust people or we don't trust ourselves but this is what I'm picking up from the cards the next card I have for you I'll be putting this is Kalahari from your inner doll and uh, we have another message to you from from Jenna Beauty Kalahari from your inner doll and it says love multiplies when you give it away Your inner doll wants you to tear down the wall around your heart. Your inner doll wants you to trust. Your inner doll wants you to connect to truth and be honest. Your inner doll wants you to be vulnerable. The shell, your the shell of your inner doll is so strong. It's almost like she's made out of cement. Like this image and persona that you give to the world of of you know not I'm not gonna say you don't care that you know but that you're tough and but the truth is people don't know that you probably cry yourself to sleep some nights and that you're really not that happy but you but you're really good at at um, hiding how you really feel but your inner doll is saying let's 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 do something about this plastic persona that we're projecting because we are hurting. Your inner doll is hurting. That's that's what I'm picking up. 
The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Safara, and she has a message from your inner doll. And it says, find another way to solve the problem. Oh my goodness, you know what? Find another way to solve the problem. Listen, this reading is not going to be for everyone, but for the person that it is for, I am not going to mince my words and try to, you know, make it. I don't know what happened in your life, but what I do know is that your angels, your ancestors, the universe is asking you to heal. It's asking you to forgive. It's asking you to let go. It's asking you to move forward. So um, one of the things, find another way to solve the problem, which this hand is leading me to believe that your doll, you know how some people, most people, you know, when I think of a doll, the doll is made of plastic. Your doll is not even plastic. She is becoming hard on the inside or she's hurting she's a heart not just on the outside but on the inside as well because she has built up all of this cement or all, you know inside or, or part plastic inside because she has been disappointed and let down by society so Finding another way to solve a problem is leading me to believe that there's somebody you need to forgive or somebody you need to forgive you. There's something, something is going on that needs to change and what you have been doing isn't working. So I'm going to tell you whatever that problem is, you need to work on it at a, on a spiritual level. So I'm going to give you a couple techniques. One, if there's a person, whether it's a job, create a sphere of love and surround yourself in like this like white like a white diamond light or a pink you know something however you perceive love to be and ask your angels whatever you believe in just ask for like protection and inside of this sphere is nothing but love and you call on the person and you to come and you have a real discussion with them and you call their guardian angel your guardian angel and you talk from your soul from your heart and if you if you're not crying by the time you finish talking, you really haven't been honest. And you t you work at it at a spiritual level, and then you do the hono ono ponono. I'm not sure if I, I love you, I'm sorry, thank you, please forgive me. You say this every time you think about that person, it doesn't matter who is right or wrong, because what it does is it shifts the energy. And also, another thing I have found is that doing, um, I, I call them yoga breaths, I'm not sure if there's another name for them. It's where you take your tongue, put it behind your teeth, uh, yeah. hold it, you know, taking a breath to the count of nine, hold the breath to the count of nine, blow it out to the count of nine. Do that 50 times every day for 30 days, and I promise you, your life will change. Whenever I do those breaths, people stop. People like who aren't good for me, they just kind of leave my life. Things start working out for me. Uh, something that was a sign for me, all of a sudden, it's not a sign to me. It's been taken away. Or, child, I'm telling you, it is magic. It shifts the energy in your life, okay? So whatever you have been doing, it isn't working. So you're going to need to start working on whatever the problem is from a, a spiritual um, at a spiritual level I have one more card for you and we're pulling in Kalahari we're talking about your heart chakra oh my goodness Kalahari's message to you is love is the only thing worth fighting for mm -mm -mm. so I'm telling you that whatever is going on in your life your inner doll wants to heal she wants to you know you have to you can't heal what you want reveal you can't heal what you want acknowledge so first you need to be honest with yourself the first card you have it says you know the um, in between the words therein lies the truth what you're telling people that you don't care or that you're okay it's not true um it says compassion and forgiveness is a cornerstone to true love. That's letting me know that somebody needs to be forgiven. You need to be forgiven or somebody else needs to be forgiven. But the point is something happened. Okay, I'm not going to 
shy away from this. Something happened. Love multiplies when you give it away. In order for you to feel love, you're going to need to, you know, trust love and give love away. Love is, is one of those things that you have to resonate to attract. So if you want to feel love or to receive love, you're going to have to be able to give love. And, and to do that, you're going to have to be able to forgive or be forgiven or forgive yourself. And also, love is the only thing worth fighting for. So in order to receive this trust and turn on the walls inside of your inner doll, you're going to have to do a lot of uh, healing. So I'm going to ask this ask this beautiful Indian Agatha. If there is an additional message for you, hi, is there an additional message for this person from their inner doll? Let go. Let go. You can't control the outcome. You can only let go. Humans think that if they protect themselves, nothing bad will ever befall them. But this is not true. Whether you love or live the life of your dreams, What is perceived to be as negative things or bad things will happen to everyone. No one misses this on this planet. One of the life lessons for every soul on this planet is to learn how to let go, to forgive, to move forward, and keep your heart open for love. Letting go is the best thing to do to make yourself available for something better. If you're holding on tight to something old, you have no room in your life for something new and better. So you must let go. Our suggestion to you is to write down whatever has happened Write it down and place it under the biggest tree you can find. Dig a hole and leave it there. The elemental beings will take care of it. We wish you the best. Thank you. I appreciate it. So this is the message for you from the Indian Agate. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.